Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Welcome to Dr. Levin's Music Lab. No, I'm not a real doctor. I lost my medical license after I told a pregnant woman that she wasn't pregnant but was in fact full of baloney. But let's not talk about that. Let's talk about music. I'm going to show you a way to play arpeggios fast, clean, and in time on the guitar without sweep picking. It looks like this. So I learned this technique from an amazing guitarist uh, who is one of my teachers at Berkeley named Tim Miller. If you haven't heard his music, you should definitely check it out because not only does he have great examples of how to use what I'm about to show you, it's just great music. So basically this technique uses all six strings and you have two notes on your low E string, one note on your A string, two notes on your D string, one on your G, two on your B, and one on your E. So for the right hand, you do a down pick and a hammer on, then another down pick on the next string, on the A string. Then you use your middle finger to pluck the D string and hammer on. So, then you pick, down pick the G string, then you use another middle finger, pluck the B string then down pick on the E string. So going up, it looks like this. Down, down, pluck, down, pluck, down. For going back down the arpeggio, you just pick the whole way down. Pick, pick, pull off, pick, pick, pull off, pick, So here's a notated uh, guide to how to use this technique. We're going to use an A minor 7 arpeggio for our example. You'll notice the down pick symbol represents down picking, but the, what's usually the up pick symbol now means pluck with your middle finger. And then going back down the arpeggio, the symbols become the same again as, the, as normal. So down up, down up, down up, all that stuff is notated the way it's normally notated. So the example I played at the beginning of the lesson uh, is notated also on benlevinlab.com and it shows how you can use all kinds of different arpeggios. All you have to do is stick to this pattern of 2 one 2 one 2 one 2 one and the picking of the right hand and you can put any arpeggio in there. So have fun learning this arpeggio technique and I hope you can come up with your own cool uh, note choices and make some crazy sound and stuff. I've heard some beautiful variations on all kinds of different arpeggios and you can stick in all kinds of tensions and all kinds of stuff that's not necessarily uh, 1, 3, 5, 7 of the chords and just go crazy with it <laughs> and practice it with a metronome before you go crazy. Practice it slowly. It's all about lining up your left hand and your right hand. It's about control more than it's about dexterity or physical strength because there's actually very little motion going on in this technique. It's very economically sound. So don't sue me for musical malpractice and I hope that you have an excellent day. <laughs>